Good morning everybody, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another video. It is a crisp morning, a very crisp morning. We've got a lovely bit of winter sun though that's really making my eyes water. Me and Kayla are just on our morning walk, we're actually towards the end of it, but I thought I'd just pick the camera up and say hi. Today, I'm gonna do a little day in the life because a few of you asked for it on my Instagram. My life's not the same as it was like a couple of months ago. So I'm going to show you what my daily routine is right now. I said in my 2023 to 2024 video that I wanted to create a routine that I love. So here's me trying to do that. So I'm going to bring you along on the day with me. This morning, my alarm went off at nine. I snoozed it. My alarm went off at half nine. I picked my phone up and scrolled on TikTok. So it wasn't the greatest start to the morning. So me and Kaylee are on our morning walk, but a little bit later on in the morning today. But we're still doing it, and that's what counts. So that's how we start our mornings. I don't know if you can see, but I have two beautiful bright red spots on the bottom of my chin right now, which is not ideal. So I need to get home and put some makeup on that. They're like the size of, you know, um, that episode in Was the Waverly Place, when Justin has that spot on his head that talks. That's the size of him. I think the camera's actually helping me out a bit here, because it's not really showing it. But I'm telling you, when I get in later, you will see it. It's not a great look. We also had a nice little visit from Maeve this morning. I don't know if any of you remember. There was a video that I did ages ago now. And this black cat walked in. I've named her Maeve. Or Mavis. She's Maeve now for short. That's how long she's been coming to see us. We believe she's a stray cat. We had a lovely little visit from her this morning, which was very cute. We'll see if she's still there. She probably is. Good morning, Maeve. <laughs> We've got a little pause going. This is the time of year when the cold weather is wreaking havoc in our Say hi. <laughs> Good morning, guys. It was actually freezing outside, like so, so cold. We get cold every morning, but that was freezing. I had thermals on and everything, and it was just still so cold. And I had to take them off immediately because then as soon as you get inside, sweating. <laughs> the fun life of living in the UK. But anyway, like I said, I have these horrible things on my face it's almost like i've got vampire fangs but they're in the wrong place do you know what i mean because they're like identical to each other so we need to get rid of those most of you on here probably know that i'm not a makeup kind of girl i don't really like the way it feels on my skin so i'm just gonna put it on just to cover these bits up because it's just horrific and let's have a little chat like we're on facetime or something let's have a chat for those of you that are interested in what i'm using i'm gonna start with i don't even know how to say it but it's dr jart plus and it's like this color correcting treatment thing for me it works a dream however i haven't actually used it on acne before i don't really I don't usually suffer with acne i just have a lot of redness around my nose so i'm gonna whack that on and see if it does anything i bought this little trio on asos i was buying a few things on there for christmas and i needed to up it so that i got free delivery girl math so they then spent a fortune on this it's only like a little starter package but it came with tiger grass repair serum tiger grass repair cream and then it also came with this tiger grass color correcting treatment so i've already put these on as part of my skincare routine this morning but i haven't done this yet so i'm gonna pop this on now today i've got a few things that i need to do. I've got a call later at three and I also need to do something with my room I need to sort it out so that it's clean and tidy and we're not going into the second month of 2024 Completely disorganized. Has that done anything? I mean, it's worked on the nose for sure But this this is if anything it's calmed the rest of my skin down So these stand out even more need to put some concealer on these bad boys then in that case I'm using the Maybelline fit me concealer i'm not very clued up on makeup so it's probably a few of you that's like that's awful it could be a really good concealer i don't actually know but it seems to work enough for me so yeah today i need to sort my room out i actually had a massive clear out a little while back like within the first week of january and i had like five full bags worth of crap it was ridiculous and one of the bags actually split so i needed to put that in another bag but it was just like stuff that i've hoarded because i thought i might need but i haven't needed them i also got rid of some of the clothes that i knew i wasn't gonna wear because i was being very strict on myself i always tend to keep clothes just in case and then never wear them and they're just taking up space in my wardrobe so i have cleared out most of my room but there's one drawer in my bed like attached underneath my bed it's just down here that is stuck 
and it won't open and it hasn't opened for like months like maybe since june since my birthday so i need my dad to get on it and fix it for me because there's some things in there that i know i don't need anymore and there's also like i've got like a polaroid album in there that um kaylee's boyfriend sean got me for my birthday back in june and i've got so many polaroids from all the places i went to as cabin crew so i need to fill the album up basically so i've asked my dad this morning if he will help me later on his lunch break so he's gonna help me with that which is gonna be good so we can finally clear out the last drawer I love the primer that goes with this. It's the Beauty Crop We Cherie Set and Spray and Primer. I mean, unless you've been living under a rock, you probably know what this is. But the primer's so good. My makeup just sticks like glue and I could wear it all day and it just won't budge, which is so good. And then this just feels good. And it smells so good as well. Anyway, but I am definitely going to get onto that other drawer today it just keeps coming off of its hinges it's really odd it's gonna be a big palaver but we need to get in there so we're gonna do that today and then what else did i say i was gonna do today i need to do some youtube bits i'm thinking of like refreshing my youtube channel up a little bit i'm gonna go to the gym i literally cannot multitask oh my god i'm really struggling here i can't lie to you so the light in here is really not all that great. I'm just using the... It just says Huda, but um, here we are. But I'm using this shade. It's just the light shade, but even still, it's just not really... doesn't really work for me. I really want to get that Made by Mitchell. The new palettes that have come out. I really want to get the light version of that. And now I'm just going in with this little blush stick that I've got. It's the e.l.f. Monochromatic Multi Stick. It's really tiny, really cute. I got it um, when I was travelling so that I could use it because it's so tiny you could just take it anywhere with you but I just use it a tiny 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 bit because I get quite red cheeks anyway um what was he saying beats me I don't know I have a phone call later that I mentioned that'll be my second therapy session so far I'm just gonna say it on here because we might as well normalize it because it should be normal I think it's quite healthy for everybody to have therapy sessions and counseling sessions even maybe if you don't feel like you need them so yeah we're just gonna normalize that so I've got a therapy session at three today whoop de doo I was told from my last session that I had to do some like mind mapping on the sense of what I want where I want to be etc so I have been doing that that was the NYX micro brow pencil in brunette you are welcome because clearly I'm a makeup artist so you should all be taking tips from me when it comes to makeup. Just gonna curl my lashes, put a tiny tiny little bit of eyeliner on and some mascara and then I can actually talk to you properly because clearly I'm incapable of doing two things at once. Done. And this is for your benefit only guys, I don't usually put makeup on during the day so you are welcome. It is nearly lunchtime. I know we woke up quite late today. So I think I'm going to crack on with just tidying up my room a little bit. I'm going to write a to-do list, crack on with some bits, just get organised for the day. Let's go. Step one, wake up, brother, go rise with the sun. Step two, get some good, some food in you. Step three, you grow hard about what you want to be. Step four, fuck everybody, just do your thing. Wake up, today's going to be a good day. Wake up, today's going to be a good day. Wake up, today's going to be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna 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 be a good day. Yo, set your affirmations, aspirations. I got shit to do. The aftermath of preparation. Good food, good mood, blood in circulation. One step at a time, yeah, that's how you make it. Set a goal you control and the steps you take them. I try to pick one thought, have some concentration. And if I make a mistake, it's called education. I try to do this every day, call it replication. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. 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 Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. So life ain't easy, yo. I think there's a reason, though. Ups and downs, just like every different season, yo. Sometimes I'm high, other times I'm barely breathing, though. You always gotta fight and hide from the demons, yo. Negative thoughts are poison, they ride. Uh. Head full of flaws, so here come the clouds. Uh. They'll never stop unless I can swap All the bad for the good in my head when I'm lost uh. 
Yeah, so I'ma fake it till I make it. Positive thoughts are overtaken. I got patience. One day at a time is how you operate a cadence. A flow, you grow, you show yourself a foundation. Stay away from all the shit that causes temptation. I know that I like to do it cause of sensation. I live my life in my head like a narration. Don't expect greatness, do my best, man. I'll take it. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. 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 Today's gonna be a good day. I'm sweating, <laughs> like actually sweating. Right, so I've had a little scrub. I've only done the main bits. I've got all these shelves at the back, but I don't do them as often as I do the other ones and as often as I should because they're just so high up, guys. And look how much stuff is on them. Oh, it means taking everything down. I'll do that next time. I've done my bed, I've got new bedding, which is lovely. You know when you just, you're already excited to get into bed with new sheets. Oh. When I was making my bed, I saw this under my pillow. This is probably gonna divide the viewers, whether you believe in this stuff or not. But I was on TikTok on like, I'm sure it was the 11th, but there was something about a new moon. It was something about like writing down 11 things you want to achieve within the year. And then after that, you had to write 11 things you're willing to do in order to achieve those. And you had to like write dear universe at the top and then like from, and then sign your name at the end. So that's what I did. And then you went to go to sleep with it under your pillow. It's a whole thing of like manifesting with the universe. And I was like, what have I got to lose? Let's see how it goes. Maybe at the end of the year, I'll have to read out what was on there. I've also realized I've got so many bloody candles. See how it says like pumpkin spice. These are October candles. I got like fall candles, autumn candles. And they're not even from 2023. They're from 2022. I did a haul about it. And that's where they came from. I've also got this one as well. That's from the same year. Really embarrassing. These ones are all new from um, Christmas and stuff. So I've had to put them out. I've also got another one hiding back there. I've got a diffuser. There's another candle there and like another one behind it that I've hidden because I've got so many. And then this one, clearly a pumpkin, clearly not in season right now and not even from the previous year. It was from 2022, guys. There's another one up there. Can you see it? Oh, yeah, there's one there. Literally candles everywhere everywhere but look at some of the cute little things i got for christmas the lighting's really bad because of how sunny it is outside at the minute but i don't know if you can see that my sister got me this which was really really cute this is another one that ryan got me again you can't really see it. it's really hard to see but can you can you see that these are the new ears that are on the display at the moment i got these ones for my birthday that i don't think i ever showed anybody these are from holly and rosie um, and there are Laura Rose treasure ones, which are exactly the same as these Christmassy ones that I have over there. They're the same make. But I got these ones from my mum. And there are three Cavaleros themed one. And they're so cute. And look. <laughs> His little maraca shakes are so cute. But they're like the only Donald ones that she could find. And I think they're so cute because they're actually like embroidered. So I'm obsessed with these. I love them. I also got a new lounge fly bag from... Ryan, the ears aren't included, I just ran out of hooks. And they pop up and you can just see Chippendale in here. It's so cute. And then under here there's Mirabelle and Mike and Tinkerbell, Jeannie, the aliens. I love Jiminy Cricket, he's the cutest ever. But it's actually like a 100 birthday styled one. It's like meant to be a birthday cake. And it's the cutest bag ever. My room is looking very colourful at the minute, which is great, but I need to have a theme in here. It's so colourful, I look like I'm living in a 12 year old's room. I mean, it's kind of fun, but... I feel like I need a, a theme, like an aesthetic for this room. It is nearly one o'clock, so I'm going to go down and have some lunch. And then I'm going to catch up on last night's Love Island All Stars because I haven't watched it yet. So I'm going to do that, have a little chill, and then hopefully Dad's going to help me fix this drawer.
this is my lunch. I got a little packed lunch. I literally made myself a ham and cucumber sandwich with a little bit of salad cream in. Some cheese, like literal just blocks of cheese. And then I've got like the Audi version of the sweet chili sensations. Way more than I had expected to put on here. And then I got a seal bar, which is the Audi version of a penguin. Can you tell we shop at Audi? But I just love little lunches like this. It feels like I'm back at school and I've got like I'm a little lunch box. So that's the lunch of choice today. That's what I'm going with and I'm going to sit and watch Love Island All Stars from last night. I'm always at the gym when it's on, so I never get to watch it in the evenings. I, I get back just as it's starting and I need to shower and stuff, so I'm gonna watch that now. We're just gonna have a little bit of a chill at this part of the day. Lunchtime is the chilled part of the day today. Right, this is the drawer as is. Like, and this is the other one. Can you see how that's like flush? And then this one is like, God knows what it's doing. So it falls off the railings at the back and it keeps doing it and dad needs to help me fix it so now this drawer which is beautiful by the way because all my shoes are in it has to come out in order for dad to like get under the bed to sort this one out i need a new bed basically why are you emptying it because it makes it lighter oh <laughs> lift it then. oh yeah i don't want you to break it back i don't really want to break mine either to be honest oh, it's, just an, it's just an awkward angle <laughs> you remember this <laughs> captain crook <laughs> Got a heavy one? Something. That. Adventure book. <laughs> the scrapbook that Faith made for me. Okay, I'm done now. <laughs> Let me get on before you get down. <laughs> Should I try and put it? Yay! Yay! Well, now you've got to get up. <laughs> Thank you so much. The drawer is officially cleared out. It's completely empty apart from this little bit, but I have to empty it for my dad to actually fix it. So I've had the clear out. All of this stuff, believe it or not, is stuff I'm keeping. So the majority of it is going to just go back in the drawer. But I've cleared out a little bit and I had five bags of crap before. I now have six. I just need to wait for dad to fix the drawer for me or at least help me fix the drawer. So then I can put everything back in the drawer and then I can sit and order all of these and put all of these into my album. Look how many there are. That's actually crazy. The travels of 2023. However, I have my therapy call about to happen, so I need to prepare for that. So I have to kind of come back to this, which means I have to leave my room in this state, which is not good for my brain. But it's nearly three o'clock, so we have priorities at the minute. We'll come back to this after. Just getting out my little notebook that has all my mind mapping in that I did, that she told me to do. So I got that out, ready for reference. I also had some things I knew I wanted to talk to her about so I wrote those down too I'm ready let's normalize therapy everybody <laughs> come on it's one minute past three don't do this to a person having therapy for anxiety and then getting anxiety because of the therapy three minutes past I'm okay that she's late it's the anxiety of waiting for the phone call come on it is Thursday isn't it <sighs> seven minutes now I keep myself busy right up until three so that I'm distracted and I don't feel anxious about the call. And then it's only like that last minute where I'm just sat making sure that I'm going to be ready for the call, that I feel anxious. Hello? Hello, is that Shannon? Yeah, speaking. The therapy session's over. I'm a bit overwhelmed. <laughs> the good thing is, is that we got to some sort of ending like we were able to resolve a part of the anxiety. It's just hard to like hear it out loud, I guess. Anyway, after that, I'm not in the most happiest, chirpiest mood ever, believe it or not, after a nice little bit of therapy. So I think I'm going to take some, some downtime. I'm going to get this drawer fixed. I'm going to put everything away. And then I think I'm just going to do some reading. So for Christmas, I was bought an entire set of the Harry Potter books, which... I have read some before. I think I read up to the fourth one before. Up to Goblet of Fire. But I haven't read them for a long time. So my sister for Christmas bought me a whole set. So I'm currently on the first one. I need to catch up with Kaylee because we were trying to read them next to each other. Like, simultaneously. Sim is that how you say the word? Sim simu simultaneously? Whoa. Kaylee? Yeah. How do you say simu... Simu... <laughs> simu... Simulta simultaneously. Simultaneously? Buckle why can't I say this word? How do you say sim simul simulta simultaneous. simultaneously? I just couldn't say it. I was trying to say how we're reading these sim simultaneously. simultaneously. And I couldn't say the word. How embarrassing. 
we're reading these simultaneously. <laughs> She's a speedy reader, so I need to play catch up. Because once I finish this, we're then going to watch the first movie. And then Kaylee can go into the second book, so can I, but I need to, I need to read them quicker. As I was saying, I'm going to go read some of this. Hopefully, Dad's going to fix this room. And then, grabbing sausage pasta for dinner. Which, most of you are probably like, well, what on earth? But it's something we've always had as kids, so it's a good fan favourite. I'll show you it later. And then, the gym later tonight. Not too much left to do of the day, but I need to fix this. We're going to fix this. That's what you call a bodge job. Oh, definitely, yeah. <laughs> oh. Yeah, if this actually works, this will be hilarious. Oh, so Dad fixed my drawer. He ended up putting like a wooden spatula on the side of it <laughs> because the drawer wasn't running in. It was like falling off because the grooves for it like go outwards. So it was just slipping in. So he's put like a spatula on the inside and then put like the run in so that it makes that bit thicker and then it's just going in a straight line. It was interesting, for sure, but it was funny, and bless him, he worked so hard, he's probably sweating now. But anyway, the drawer's done. It's now flush, as you can see, and it opens. Hold on. Oh, no, that's not a good sign. I just can't do it one-handed. There we go. Fingers crossed that stays exactly like that for a while. I also did a little bit of reading. I just need to sort out my Polaroids, so I'm going to put all of that into a folder, then go have dinner and get ready for the gym. I think I managed to get about three, maybe four clips of myself in the gym. I'm not brave enough to be filming myself in the gym. That's gonna take a little while. <laughs> but then I've literally just came in, had a shower, done all of my skincare as you can see. These bad boys are out to play, great stuff. And now I've got a few little emails I need to reply to, so I'm gonna crack on with that. And then I'm gonna read a few chapters of this before I go to bed, because I always read before bed. And then that'll be it, call it a day. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this busy, day in the life with me i didn't expect it to be that busy i feel like it's been a really productive day i feel like those walks in the morning and then gym in the evening really sets up my day and that's like my new routine for 2024 which i'm really loving but yeah it's been a good day so thank you guys for joining me i've just heard the words jeremiah and conrad but on this wall that means my sister is talking to her boyfriend about the summer i turned pretty they're probably arguing over whose team they're on i've only just recently watched that and i've just finished season two so i'm very impatiently waiting for season three let me know whose team you're on down in the comments please because i need to know all i know is that i'm not on team belly because i'm not a fan of her right now anyway that is the end of my day so thank you to those of you who asked for these day in the life vlogs i actually really enjoyed filming today so i think i'm going to do them more often but if you have any other video ideas let me know let me know who you like to watch on youtube what kind of videos you're into give me some inspiration down in the comments but anyway that is the end of this video thank you so so much for watching and coming along on my day with me remember to like and subscribe i can't tell you how much it helps so please like and subscribe and yeah i love you all thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!